It's got the buzzwords, but can it deliver? In this video, I'm talking about Otakon more. Hey guys, Jeff here at Zip Hearing. I'm the guy you usually see in the bright blue shirt and white background, uh, but that studio closed during COVID, so I decided to just set up shop at home here. And I think I'll do videos here from now on, as long as I can keep my three-year-old out of here. I need to lock that door, one sec. Okay, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Uh, if you hear footsteps or screaming in my videos, I have two daughters under the age of four, so just try and ignore it, everything's fine. Uh, I've also still got some audio issues uh, to work out, a little bit of echo that I'd like to cut out, so hang in there, the quality of my videos will improve. <laughs> Real professional shop I'm running here. Okay, I know I'm late to the party. There's already a dozen videos on this new hearing aid, but I have an excuse. Uh, stick around till the end of this video and I will fill you in and also hook you up with something that you're gonna see in this video. So, Otakon's new hearing aid is called More. It has the same design as the previous generation Open S hearing aids, and considering all the tech this has on board, it's pretty impressive that it's the same size as its competitors. Uh, here's how it looks on my ear. This is the chestnut brown color. Uh, our best-selling color is chroma beige, but I recommend getting whatever color matches your hair the closest, at least if you're going for a discreet look. It uses a rechargeable battery, which lasts 20 hours a day and 16 hours if you stream a couple hours of audio each day, like from your phone or TV. I'll get into that in a minute. Uh, it takes about three hours for a full charge and a quick charge of 30 minutes will get you an extra six hours of power. Uh, one thing I like about this hearing aid is after a few years when the battery needs to be replaced, uh, you can just take it into your hearing care provider and they'll put a new battery in rather than having to send it off to the manufacturer like you would with uh, a lot of other brands, so that's nice. Uh, one thing to note is unlike some other chargers out there, Otakon's charger does not have a reserve battery in it that you can pull from uh, if you don't have access to power. So I do recommend if you ever go a few days without access to electricity, like camping or traveling, whatever it might be, I don't know, uh, buy one of those mobile power packs. Uh, then you can plug your charger into that via um, USB and charge like you normally would. All right, I mentioned streaming audio, so you can pair this hearing aid up directly with iPhones and most newer Android phones. Um, there's a link in the description so you can check compatibility. If Bluetooth is important, and it probably should be, uh, definitely check that link before you buy this hearing aid. Um, that connectivity allows you to use the hearing aids uh, almost like you would Bluetooth headphones. So you can uh, hear audio directly through your hearing aids like phone calls, music, this YouTube channel. Uh, for phone calls, you can hear the caller through both ears. The quality is good, uh, but for the caller to hear you, you have to either hold the phone like you normally would or buy the Connect Clip device. It clips onto your shirt and then there's a little microphone on it or, or you can wear like a necklace, a lanyard, uh, and the microphone on it picks up your voice so the caller can hear you uh, and then keep your phone in your pocket or wherever and talk hands-free. It's a nice feature. Uh, you can also stream from your TV. If you get the TV adapter, you just plug it into the back of your TV and it'll stream audio directly to your hearing aids. Um, you can set the volume then however you like in your hearing aids and everybody else in the room can keep it uh, at their preferred level. Common question I get on this one, if you have a Bluetooth TV, do you still need the, the TV adapter? Yes, you do. These hearing aids will not uh, directly connect to your TV. Now, even if none of that streaming stuff sounds interesting to you, I still recommend that you install Otakon's app. It's called the On app, and that'll let you do things like uh, adjust the volume of the hearing aids or the programs, um, also called memories. Uh, if you don't know what that is, your hearing provider will tell you about it. Um, you can check your battery life, um, find your hearing aids if you lose them, and more stuff, but it's just, it's handy to have some of these features, um, so definitely check that out. Okay, moving on to what all the buzz is about and what makes this hearing aid special, uh, because most hearing aids now are rechargeable and Bluetooth. Um, Otakon More is the first hearing aid to have an onboard deep neural network. Now, I'll do my best to explain what that means. It's kind of hard without um, like getting into the weeds a bit. So if you're not interested in the details of this, I'm gonna give you just like a, a one sentence highlight and then encourage you to fast forward to the next section. It's probably like four minutes from now, five minutes, I don't know four or five minutes. Um, Otakon using a deep neural network in their hearing aids means that their hearing aids have a smarter way of detecting speech in your environment than any other hearing aid. And that means you're gonna hear more and better. Um, if that's all you want, fast forward four or five minutes. And for the longer explanation, um, here's how I understand what Otakon's doing. And let me preface this by saying I'm not an engineer. Uh, so if I get this wrong, feel free to educate me. So the claim to fame of this hearing aid is the onboard deep neural network. The onboard part of that just means that a piece of software that contains the deep neural network was added to the hearing aids chip. So what's a deep neural network? Well, uh, I don't really know. 
Uh, <laughs> I watched hours of YouTube videos and ended up just having to talk to my friend who's a machine learning engineer, and I'm still not really sure. Uh, I've just decided that uh, I'm okay with that. I do know that deep learning is the technology that's behind um, some of like what I would consider the most magical and, and mind-boggling technology today, like self-driving cars. Um, so this isn't easy stuff, uh, at least for me, to comprehend, but I'll, I'll try to explain it in a way that, that makes sense to me. Um, if you know what an algorithm is, you can think of a deep neural network as, um, as like a smarter next level algorithm. So a traditional algorithm has a strict set of instructions for performing an operation or like a calculation or solving a problem. Let's say it that way. Um, such as like the instructions might be like, if this happens, then do this. So engineers design hearing aid algorithms by essentially saying, or by telling the hearing aid, this is what speech data looks like. So if speech data is present in the environment, then change the hearing aid settings. Otokon Moore, on the other hand, isn't given these pre-written instructions for detecting speech in the environment. Instead, it comes up with its own. Uh, one of my all-time favorite books is Shoe Dog. And one of the quotes that uh, Phil, Knight's, Phil Knight repeats over and over again in that book is, see if I can get this right, don't, don't tell people how to do things, tell them what to do, and let them surprise you with the results. Nailed it, okay. Uh, I, think of I think of deep neural network as like the technical equivalent to that idea. Um, don't tell the hearing aid what to do, show it the problem, and then let it come up with a way to solve it. Um, so the way this works is first, uh, a deep neural network is given a problem to solve. So in this case, the problem to solve is accurately identifying when speech that a wearer, that a wearer uh, may want to hear is present in the environment. So we know what the problem is. Uh, now the deep neural network needs to be trained on how to solve it. So to do this, Otakon researchers took a microphone out into the real world and collected 12 million sound samples. These sound samples are gonna eventually be shown to the deep neural network, but before they are, uh, they need to go through a process called data labeling so, so that the deep neural network uh, knows what it's looking at. Uh, and this is where presumably humans looked at all those sound samples and labeled them as either containing speech or not containing speech. That's a process that, as I understand, can take hundreds or thousands of man hours. Um, once that labeling has been done, uh, the data is then fed through the neural network so it can learn from it. So the neural network is essentially told millions of times, okay, this sound sample has speech, this one doesn't. Now find out those patterns that distinguish one from the other. Uh, those patterns that help identify a speech sound from a non-speech sound. Uh, those patterns that humans may not be able to detect. And that pattern detecting capability is the special sauce of the deep neural network in this use case. Um, once that training is complete, that piece of software that contains the deep neural network is then put onto the chip of Otakon Moore hearing aids. The result is when you're wearing more hearing aids, every sound environment that you find yourself in is then processed by the deep neural network, which uh, based on its history, its training, its learning from those 12 million sound samples can then say, okay, does this new sound look more like um, important speech sound or non-speech sound? And based on the answer to that question, settings of the hearing aid are adjusted. I know that was a lot. I'm confused just listening to myself. Um, but to get to the essence of what is happening here, you have the traditional way that hearing aids work versus this new way. The, tr the traditional way says that engineers should tell the algorithm in the hearing aid um, what speech looks like. The new way, Otakon's way, um, lets their deep neural network decide what speech looks like. And if I had to guess, I'd say Otakon's way is better and the future. And I would bet that one day all hearing aid manufacturers will use deep neural networks. Uh, but just to be a little contrarian here, uh, although a hearing aid seems like a great use case for a deep neural network, um, the algorithms that exist to separate speech from non-speech are already pretty good. I mean, hearing aids have been good for a while and been good at reducing background noise. So I do question if a deep neural network is gonna be that much better, that it's a noticeable difference for wearers, or if it's just providing um, incremental benefits. But even if it is, even if the benefits are marginal, this is just the first application in a hearing aid, so uh, it can only get better. So to the all important question, should you buy it or is this um, too new and unproven of a technology? Um, to me, I put it in the definite buy category. Uh, Otakon's proven that more is better than their previous generation OpenS product, which does not use a deep neural network. And that hearing aid was already very good. Uh, based on a survey that we did last year of our providers across the country, I think it was close to 100 providers involved, 
Um, that hearing aid was already tied for first place as the best hearing aid of 2020. So um, given that more is simply improving on that hearing aid, yeah, I think it's a safe bet. Okay, you've made it to the end. Let me hook you up. Uh, when you're ready to buy your Oticon More hearing aids through our company, just let anybody on our team here know that you're a fan of the YouTube channel and we'll get you a free TV adapter with your order, which usually retails for two to 300 bucks. Uh, it's pretty cool to hear uh, the TV through your hearing aids and now you don't need to miss a thing. So definitely take advantage of that. And finally, um, the reason for the delay of this video is we're working on a massive redesign of our website. Um, we'll update it this summer, June, maybe late May, early June, 2021. Um, we'll have 3D models of every hearing aid in all colors that you can interact with um, just like that. Um, actual hearing aid reviews from our customers, just a bunch of unique, cool content that you're not gonna find anywhere else. And it's gonna make researching hearing aids a heck of a lot easier and maybe kind of fun. Uh, at least that's what we're going for. In the description, I'll put a link to our product page for Oticon More, so bookmark that or come back to it this summer of 21. Uh, and I'm pretty sure you'll agree that we are providing the single best resource online for researching and learning about hearing aids. Okay, that's all I got for this video, but uh, I have a favor. If you've bought Oticon More and have any experience with it whatsoever, please consider leaving a comment below and let me know what you think about it. Uh, or if you have any questions, ask away in the comments. And I almost always respond within 24 hours. All right, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I will see you on the next one.